It was the 60s when Jane Elliott devised her exercise. She was a school teacher in a small, all-white American town. America in 1968 was a segregated country. Black Americans were dying, battling for their basic civil rights. When Martin Luther King was assassinated, it had a profound effect on Jane Elliott. She was determined to find a way to show her eight-year-old pupils what was wrong with racism. You think you know how I would feel to be judged by the color of your skin? No, I don't think you would know how that felt unless you had been through it, would you? She wanted them to understand how discrimination by something as arbitrary as eye colour is unfair and illogical, as it is to discriminate on the basis of skin colour. How many in here have blue eyes? Okay, how many in here have brown eyes? It might be interesting to judge people today by the color of their eyes. I watched what had been marvelous, cooperative, wonderful, thoughtful children turn into nasty, vicious, discriminating little third graders. They were ghastly. But back in the 60s, when she divided her original school class, she was shocked by how readily the brown-eyed group took to their superiority. What happened, John? Russell called me names and I hit him, hit him in the gut. She was even more alarmed by the blue-eyed group. <clears throat> they gave up, their heads went down, they underperformed. Jane Elliott felt she had seen the world in microcosm. Her exercise showed what racism was, an immoral and irrational social construct that people were far too quick to sign up to. Since then, she's put adults all over the world